All right, and you can see in this uh, video when you shoot the asteroid that um, it keeps moving after you destroy it and it appear, makes the other one appear. It needs to pause for a second before it starts moving again. This looks weird. So to do that, we're just going to make a quarantine on the uh, move asteroid script. So just make some room and then do I E numerator. Uh, and we'll call it start movement. Make B. Oh, let me uh, zoom in. And I forgot to zoom in for the other two videos. So uh, if you're hanging with me, I'm sorry about that. I'll try to remember. All right, so in start movement, make the asteroid pause before moving. All right, so inside the quarantine, we want to put yield return new. Wait for seconds, and let's just wait. 1.5 F seconds for now. And then we want to make a Boolean and make it turn true. We'll just say can move equals true. Let the rock move. And then in our uh, move rock function, we're going to put an if statement. If can move equals true, then you want to uh, run this. And then we need to put a boolean for can move so we'll just say uh, public bull can move allows the rock to move all right so at start can move equals false as a default so it's not going to move and then after 1.5 seconds it will move again Okay, and to actually call this, let me see here, you put it right here in the start function. So put start quarantine and the name of the quarantine, which is start movement. How do you spell this crap? Or timer, as I call it. All right, and save it. And then just move the asteroids out of the view.
Alright, that's a little too slow. I just want it to have a little pause. So let's try 0 0.5. A little bit too slow, let's try 0 0.2. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching.